Jesse, we need to cook. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam and G Drive. Today we're checking out the Fleetwood Bounder. Definitely not uh, the RV from Breaking Bad. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely not the RV from Breaking Bad. Don't worry about this barrel. There's definitely not a body inside, and we're definitely not cooking drugs in here, Jesse. Of course, I am kidding. Uh, this definitely is the RV from Breaking Bad back again in BBG Drive. Yeah, this is a very, very old mod. I want to say like 2016 or 2015, but it's been brought back from the dead. Thank you to you on my Discord server for letting me know this is back. You know who you are. Uh, but yeah, it's good to have this thing back. <laughs> it's this thing is a boat and a half, but also uh, a lot of fun. So let's take it out on the roads of Johnson Valley. Well, I guess I should say the road uh, of Johnson Valley. Yeah, so we're not gonna be hitting uh, super high speeds in this thing, shockingly. I think it, <laughs> also the uh, orbit cam is a little busted. I don't know, it's a, kind of a weird angle. Uh, but, but this thing is, it does have a certain charm uh, to it, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's take a look at the interior. Uh, maybe take a look at that. Oh, yeah, there we go. I didn't know this thing had three seats. Maybe I was just never paying attention uh, during the show. So, yeah, it's like a, a Chevy base, and then Fleetwood goes and builds the... I guess that's how these work. RVs work. A lot of RVs work, uh, I guess. But, yeah, it's like a 1987 or something. Ideal for cooking methamphetamine, I'm sure. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> there's like a wind glitch as well. You hear that? And we're not going to talk about those bullet holes. Uh... <laughs> Definitely not bullet holes, actually. I don't know how those got there. I just bought this thing from a police auction. Uh, I don't know much about it. If any of you guys have any info, uh, definitely let me know. But what do you say we crash test this thing uh, into a pole? Because why not? I'm sure it could happen. We're almost at 90 miles an hour. That's insane. So this thing is just going <laughs> to... <laughs> Yeah, that we they don't build them like that anymore, do they, fellas? This is, oh, it's made out of it's made out of like fiber wood, basically. <laughs> like that just kind of folds in on itself. I'm sure this car would never break down in the middle of the desert and leave us stranded for days, right? Let's see what uh, a minute me. Let's see what uh what we got going on here. So very very minimalistic walls, I'll say that. It's kind of feng shui though. I kind of dig it. Uh, we got some <coughs> propane tanks. Those are definitely propane tanks. We have a, a nice kitchen cooking area. You could whip up. You could cook a bunch of uh, tasty stuff here. I'm sure maybe some candy, some blue candy. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you could do. You have a barrel for uh, storing uh, uh, stuff. Maybe you could store some sour candy in here. They're very acidic. I uh, could definitely store a lot of sour candy in there, I'm sure. And the exposed engine right under here. <laughs> you could probably cook some eggs on there, I'm sure, right? So what do you say we uh, spawn up some traffic here and we will run from the cops if there is any. <laughs> Who am I kidding? We're not getting anywhere. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> This is, it's kind of weird seeing this thing in this game. Uh, not gonna lie. Why, why, why is there a parking lot next to uh, this little barn here? Oh, they're all honking. Can you please just stop it? You know, I'm kind of curious if uh, these things in real life had a sudden spike uh, in sales after Breaking Bad. Kind of like uh, Walt's car. What is it? A, a Pontiac Aztec or whatever. Weren't those like super popular after the show came out? I'm pretty sure they were. I wonder if the same thing happened with the Bounder, the Fleetwood Bounder here. I don't know, but let's uh, <laughs> let's see if we can run some people off the road. We have places to be, if you know what I mean. So it looks like this uh, V-Boss is going to be unlucky number one. There we go. We can, in fact, just push people out of the way. Maybe it's a little stronger. Uh, then it looks. Let's go head on and see what happens. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I like it. It looks like you could just rip the entire side side panel off this thing if you grab it in the right place. Hold on. Let's see. Up to 100 and... You can. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> is there anything in the storage compartments? No, it doesn't look like there is. There is a lot of them, though. Hold on. Let's, let's get this thing back on its tires. 
And uh, let's see how many panels we can rip off in one piece. I feel like we can probably do the roof in one solid piece as well. We'll grab like right there. There we go. And how about this side piece? There we go. <laughs> how about the front? Oh, my take two. Can you please stop honking at me? That'd be great. I feel like it wants to go. There we go. Please shut up, guys. So yeah, you can really just rip it down to its base elements pretty quick. But that, this, uh, you cannot move the barrel whatsoever. Hold on. Is there anything in here? Oh, thank God. I was going to have to, uh, nah, nothing, nothing. Uh, yeah. So there's nothing in the barrel, thankfully. So since this thing is uh, made out of cardboard, basically, there's something I like to do, especially with RVs. Uh, I think you might see where I'm going with this. I haven't used it in a while, so I've been uh, been jonesing a little bit. There we go, the old cannon, baby. This is gonna go uh, straight through, right? Here, let's slow down time a little bit and shoot. And it's going to put up a big smoke screen, so i got to move the camera a little bit. There we go. And I feel like this is just going to go straight through the RV. No problem. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Again, one of those things that just doesn't get old in this game. Am I right? Let's shoot another one straight towards the front here. Oh, beautiful. And how about one more for good measure? We got to make sure Hank doesn't find this thing in one piece or we are done. So let's shoot one more. There we go. Definitely was never a meth lab in there. <laughs> All right. So here's a question I'm sure you have never had in your entire life. How would the Fleetwood Bounder made famous by Breaking Bad uh, perform on the car jump arena. Well, if he did for some reason have that question, it's going to be answered today. Oh boy, this is uh, <laughs> this is going to be something, huh? All right, here we go. We've got it all lined up. Let's go, Breaking Bad. The I almost called it the flounder. It's the bounder, Fleetwood bounder, against the car jump arena. How fat can we get over 100 miles? Yes, we will. 100 we're actually moving pretty quick here 135 miles an hour that's gonna get us past the 200 mark 240 just about front of the rv crumpling the back end open we still we have a lot of speed right now uh-oh we need to slow down uh-oh <laughs> oh what a perfect perfect entry into the pool wow that uh, could have gone a lot worse. I mean, we are. Oh, okay. It looks a little worse from the bottom, but <laughs> mostly in one piece, right? Let's do it again. Why am I so low in the seat? <laughs> I don't know. This looks kind of strange, uh, but here we go. Oh, that is terrifying. Let's try to can I, maybe I can like kind of send it into, into a spin. Oh, no, not really. <laughs> the uh, turning radius on this thing not the best i have no control over this now uh oh oh <laughs> it's like it's made out of rubber or something man but there we go guys the fleetwood bounder made famous by breaking bad uh definitely <laughs> not used to cook drugs am i right anyway guys i hope you enjoyed if you want to download this mod i'll have the link down below completely free from the beam and g repository also while you're down there in the description make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already you know what guys i will see you the next one Bye bye